back because I totally didn't wake up five minutes earlier than I usually do to set up the camera and then get back into bed, pretend I'm sleeping, and wake up for the camera. I may say I can make Instagram casual again. <laughs> And I definitely need to finish them, but I'm not overwhelmed or anything, which is the nicest feeling. I've started my internship. I've been doing it for a couple of weeks now, but it's been very slow, mainly because a NHPI Heritage Month just ended. So there's a little bit of a lull where people are transitioning on and off. I'm officially a working girl because I got a work laptop. So I'm gonna check and see if there's any emails or calendar invites. I make these soy sauce eggs every single morning because I bought a loaf of bread and this is definitely not expired now or anything. It's only expired for a day, okay? So it's probably still good. <laughs> and this is my favorite thing to make to use up all my bread because one, I love eggs, two, I love soy sauce, and three, I love egg with soy sauce with bread, so. It's like you dip it into the yolk and granted I overcooked my yolk today and it's so yummy. Mm. I haven't been given a lot of onboarding material yet and I've kind of just been chilling Which is so nice because I asked them hey what hours do you want me to work and they're like you can set your own hours I'm like You want me to discipline myself? To work. It's just strange to get used to. I've never before not had an external structure or someone in authority telling me what to do exactly, you know? I've always had things to arrange my day around. I've never had complete Freedom. And since I work completely from home, it's so nice because I obviously can keep care of the house and also work on YouTube stuff in my downtime. I think it's in moments like these where I feel imposter syndrome because I'm just happy and I'm like, why am I happy? I just haven't been content in so long. Like, this is so nice. God damn. Like, I just love looking at the morning rays come in. Like, that's enough to give me happiness. And I didn't really have time to, like, take that in while I was on campus because I was always like, go, 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 go. Or I would never wake up in time for <laughs> the morning. <laughs> Because I work from home, I don't really get ready most days, but I'm going out today. When I'm on Zoom, like, you're not gonna know I'm gonna be in my PJs and sweatshirt. Like, I could be picking my nose, but would you know? No, because my camera and mic are off. But I've been wanting to style this beautiful pearl tie that I got from Etsy. It's a choker style length, and it has some adjustment chains right here. All right, I'm a little bit in a rush because I have a meeting in 10 minutes, but I don't wear a foundation most days anymore or a concealer because it's fucking humid. So the less product on my skin, the better because I just don't like the feeling of things kicking up. So usually I just go in with some blush and highlighter for the face. When I tell you I've lived in Alabama, I've lived in the desert, I've lived in the swamp, I've lived in the fucking forest. I've literally lived through a tornado and the worst thunderstorms of my life. But like never have I ever had the weather like DC where it's super, super hot one day and then just cold, freezing cold the next day. 
I mean, I guess I don't blame Mother Nature. She's always gonna have a bone to pick with us if we're gonna treat her body like shit. I also used to just put on concealer for my eyeshadow base, but let me tell you, using this Urban Decay shit has changed the game. But I promise, this base is way tackier than any pickup line that a guy on Tinder is gonna use on you. Like, and that's saying something. This M Cosmetics palette, I have been using since high school and I'm gonna use it until you can see the bottoms of all the pans because I love this palette, it's very versatile. I love how pigmented it is and it's also shimmery enough that it's like, ooh, you got something going on. But not like, ooh, why is there fallout all over your face? Why do you look like Edward from Twilight? Talking about Twilight, in one of my Women and Gender Studies classes, I was assigned, like it was in the syllabus, that we have to watch Twilight Eclipse. <laughs> Only, only in women and gender studies am I ever gonna watch a Twilight movie for an assigned reading. I don't know what's worse, you know? Like having to do a 50 page reading or watching Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart have the worst chemistry I've ever seen. Oh shit, the meeting's in one minute. The meeting's in one minute. Fast, 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 fast. Oh shit, I'm officially late. I'm officially late. It's okay. It's okay. Let's... The meeting was canceled. Oh my god. <laughs> so dumb. And there he says it is the subject line of the email. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <sighs> Let's move on. All right, to finish off the fit check, I am wearing these Kermit ass looking boots. Ta-da! And I'm like three inches taller, which is always a plus. My tote bag, which happens to be my merch, is very spacious and I even did like a weight test on my Instagram story to see how many pounds it could carry. And it can carry a 20 pound watermelon, certified by me. There's also some space on the side, so I'm gonna decorate it with pins probably tonight. But I also have these keychains right here and it's so cute. It's tactile and curvy. But yeah, let's go to the coffee shop and get some shit done. Cause it's about time I get my introverted ass out of this house. I have no vegetables, so I went ham with the squashes. I also got this Fly by Jing sauce that I've seen everywhere. I wanna get their chili too. And I'm just excited to try it out on like eggs and stuff. I also got these flowers, they were only $6. I'm gonna replace this vase. Okay everyone, my work day is finished. I did not have a lot of internship stuff today at all since the meeting was canceled. But now I'm gonna go to a museum by myself. I love going to museums by myself. I'm going to the National Gallery of Art because the only times I've been is with other people. And when I'm with other people, I always feel rushed. I never get to really look at paintings at my own pace. I'm that bitch that reads the placards, okay? Yeah, that's me. Not afraid to admit it. Usually when four or five hits and you know, the typical work day ends, I'm always like, like, oh, what do I do with this time now? Besides like cook a meal for myself. Let's do more work. And I'm trying to not do that. Working from home means that my work often overflows into late hours quite easily. And part of being disciplined is knowing when to stop working. <laughs> a lot of people around me have told me like, Lynn, you do work a lot. And I'm like, ah. I don't want to be another cog in the capitalistic machine. That is literally what I'm studying not to be. But yeah, let's go enjoy some art and Garner some inspiration along the way. I like to be creatively rejuiced if that's possible. <laughs> the EPA likes the games. Why did I automatically think of everything everywhere all at once? <laughs>
look at me